Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I have a thrift haul for you. These are things that I got at the Goodwill, I believe last week. So I've got a variety of different hard goods, shoes, plush, mugs. What else have I got here? Purses, a little bit of everything. Lots of fun things that I enjoy selling. So what I'm going to do is show you what I got, what I paid for them, and then we're going to look at eBay and eBay solds to talk about how I'm determining what price I'm putting on these items that I'll be listing to sell. I also, cling, 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 I don't always go off of eBay solds because I also list on uh, Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace. So a lot of times I'll do a, a Google search to kind of see what's also out there on other platforms and what it's selling, what people have it listed for rather. On other platforms so uh, and the way I do that when I list a cross post I use list perfectly and that's a, a platform where I can create all my listings in that uh, site the website there and then it will populate it all on all of those sites all at one time and when the item sells I can go just into list perfectly and say you know market is sold and it takes it down off the other sites it's super handy and if you're interested in checking that out I have a coupon code down below for 30% off if you use my link that's down in the description box all right so I spent maybe close to a hundred bucks. Where are my receipts go? Cause there, there were some things that I set aside. Yeah, 74 on one receipt and then 20 on the other because uh, there were a couple things she thought I didn't want to set aside. So I had to have a separate transaction. But I wanted to say that the, the checkout girl, I don't normally get this when I'm at Goodwill or many thrift stores anyway. She was checking me out and she would look at the item and she go, $9.99, I don't think so. And she would like put in a different price like, more like $6.99 and like the, some mugs that I'm going to show you here, you know, they were each priced individually. She was like, mm, how about $8 for all of these? <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know, so uh, that doesn't frequently happen. But so the price that you see on the, the item might not be actually what I paid for it because of the random checkout girl that was giving me lower prices, which I was not about to argue with. Also, before we get started, if you haven't yet, go down there and hit the subscribe button and the bell to not get notified when I put out new videos or when I go live. And last one, I feel like there was something else. Oh yeah, uh, I wanted to thank Chris L for sending me a tip through my uh, tip jar or like a coffee through my tip jar down below. Uh, I need to start recognizing when people do that and I'm going to start doing that now. So thank you again for that tip or coffee through the, the tip jar down below. And let's dive into the things that I picked up. All right, we're gonna start with the mugs because you guys know, hashtag mug life. I love selling mugs. And the ones I got, they are Ray Dunn, which I, I, I look up very carefully because there are some that sell well and Ray Dunn stuff, whether it's mugs or other things. And then there are some Ray Dunn things that just don't sell very well. So again, I told you there's eight mugs here and she ended up charging me eight bucks for all the mugs. So what I've got here is got cat mom and we're going to look at all the research and we've got cat dad. <clears throat> and I did look these up in the store before I left because I, I left a couple behind too. Uh, and these were originally sold together in a set, but I'm going to be breaking them apart and selling them individually. I think, you know, you could sell them as a set, but suppose you're a cat mom and you don't you don't have a dad in the picture, you know, or vice versa, and you just want one or the other. So I bought those for a dollar. Let's take a peek at those and see what I think I can get for those. Again, here we've got, you know, seven dollars. Let's see, for a mama now. Um, 23 best offer taken on that one. Let me scroll up a little bit. $15. Once again, just kind of prices all over the board. I'm going to scroll. It's going to, if it makes you dizzy. Oh, my kids are fighting. Oh, please don't fight. Uh, again, again, here, $21.99, $12. What's the difference between those two things? Well, it's the same mug, just a different seller. And maybe the this one's got the, it says farmhouse on it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they just used better keywording or whatever. Let me jump to the top and no, that's not what I wanted to do. Close that out. I don't know why that happened. Okay. I'm going to scroll really fast. Here we go. All right. I'm going to deselect this one. How many are still up? Looks like 96. However, they're just, they're not all just the cat mom one. So again, there's $10, $15, $18, $20, $25, $30, 
kind of all over the place with the prices. So again, probably gonna put 20 bucks on mine and see how it goes. Then we've got the Cat Dad, same deal, kind of around $10 on Cat Dad. However, here's one that's over 20. What's the difference? Same mug, just maybe they did a better job at keywording it, or maybe it's just that perceived value. Why did that one sell uh, for 20 and the other's only for 10? I mean, it's one of those you can't get a high price if you don't ask for a high price. And there you go. So there are 25 there, even though some are with the pair. And there's 30. Okay, so it looks like it's selling fairly well. So again, probably going to put that $20 mark on it and just let it go. The next ones are the hubby and wifey Ray Dunn mugs. Again, also sold initially as a set, but I... I'm also going to go ahead and, and separate these. The reason being, you know, maybe wifey doesn't, you know, hus husband doesn't really want this, but he likes the wifey one, or maybe hubby broke his, and so she wants to buy, you know, a replacement. So I'm going to be separating those and selling them individually as well. Let's take a peek at what kind of prices I think I can get for these. The, the hubby and the wifey. So here's one. Again, I don't do auctions, so I don't really pay close attention to those those sales on auctions. So here's one that sold for 14. Here's one that sold for 20. You know, so again, probably going to put that $20 on the wifey mug. And here are sold listings for the hubby mug. The hubby one, again, you know, like we got one that's sold for $21 over here. Free shipping. Okay. And then there's one that sold for $9, $11. I don't do free shipping, though. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm scrolling. I'm going to zoom back up to the top real quick. Let's see how many are up for sale right now. Let's see, just a few. Well, 126 it says, but are they all just the hubby mug? So I'm looking for just hubby. Mm, so not a lot that are just, here's a couple more. I, I'm probably, honestly, I'm probably going to put just $20 on it and see what happens. You know, it's that perceived value, somebody might buy it, or someone might send me an offer on it, and I'm okay with that. So it seems like probably gonna put 20 bucks in all these mugs. The next two Ray Dunn mugs, this one is Dreamer, and then Boss Lady, which maybe I should keep, but no. Um, so yeah, these are two more. Let's take a peek at why I decided not to leave these back on the shelf as well. And then Boss Lady, there are quite a few different Boss Lady ones, different colors. Uh, these are sold 14, here's one 13, here's one 20. Again, kind of all over the place with the different price points. Uh, there's more of these that have sold. Let's scroll up. So 17 sold on those. Let's take it off. How many are up for sale? 39 up for sale. I like to look and see how many sold and how many are up for sale because it kind of gives you an idea of, you know, are they moving? And how much competition do you have when you list it? Uh, cause that can really affect, you know, how much you might want to price it at. So, you know, 10, 12, 20, again, just kind of the, the spread on the prices. So as long as I make sure I've got good pictures, I'm again, probably going to list it right around $20. And here's the dreamer mug. This is another one that maybe was a miss, uh, because some of the prices are lower than what I would generally want to list mine for again, $5, $13 you know, some that are not that, the prices are kind of low, but let's take a look at how many are up and see what the prices on those are. 49, <laughs> 49 of them are up there. Um, and the prices again, just kind of all over the place. Now, here's another thing for me is I'm, I, I am probably gonna list it for 20 bucks because one, I don't only list on eBay. I, hang on one second. I heard my kids going by with the audiobook. Uh, I don't always, I don't just list on eBay. I list on other platforms as well. And so if somebody is looking on Mercari or Facebook Marketplace and not on eBay, then mine might be one of five or the only one. So I'm going to go ahead and put it at 20 bucks and just put best offer on it and see what happens. And then we have, you had me at meow and I purred you. There's some sticky stuff. Maybe because maybe from when they were in the box. I don't know. Um, I think these two were in a set together. There was, I think there were other cat ones that I left behind that just didn't seem like they were going to be a good pickup. Um, 
So let's take a peek at what these, and again, I'm going to list these individually. Uh, again, all the Ray Dunn mugs, because the girl ended up charging me $8 for all of them, ended up being a dollar a piece. Originally, they were marked $2.19 each. So I'm glad, I was very glad to get a good little discount on them. So some of these Ray Dunn mugs may be hit or miss, but this is the I Per You, and there's one, this is a pink one that sold for $18.75. Um, as you can see, the set has sold, one sold for $12, one sold for $31.50. There's three that sold, now if I deselect this, you'll see how many are still listed, which is kind of a lot. There's 29 of them still up there, but there's different, you know, pink, gray, white. And I talk about this a lot. Uh, the prices are kind of all over the place, and you'll and I'll talk about it again on some of these other Ray Dunn mugs. And you have to ask yourself, like, why is it that this one is listed or sold for twenty dollars, and this one for five dollars? And really, it's just up to the seller and the buyer to to decide. Because some there's something called perceived value. So if you look at a mug that's five dollars and you look at a mug that's twenty dollars the perceived value is oh well that must be a better one even if it's the same thing it's just something psychologically that happens in people that they think that the higher priced thing must be more valuable or a better quality in some way so even though there's quite a few listed I'm still planning on listing mine by itself and I'll I probably will list it for around $20 because I don't mind waiting uh, and I don't mind taking an offer either since I got it for a dollar. So probably going to price that one around 20 bucks. Next is the You Had Me at Meow. And as you can see, we've got ones that are 15 that sold $20. Um, then some people did sell the set. And again, there's six that have sold here. And then when I take that off, how many are still up there? There's 14. Some of them are listed individually, some of them as the pair, but since I'm planning on listing mine individually, I see 17, 99, 12, 14, kind of all over the place. Again, I'm probably just gonna slap 20 bucks on it and then put best offer and let it ride because how many more individually was? See, here's one that's 20, so maybe, yeah, I think 20 is a good you know, point where it's not the highest one, it's not the it's middle road, middle of the road. The next thing I picked up to sell is this giant goblet. And it is Deadpool. Deadpool shooting it up, riding his unicorn. It does have some flaws. It's like painted blue. So you can see there's a few places where it's kind of rubbed off. And this is a Marvel. I wonder if it was in, you know, if somebody got it at like one of those. Oh, what's the store called? I can't think of what it's called. It's like a geek store. What's it called? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but I bought it for $2.19. I'm peeling it at the bottom so I can kind of see what it says. I don't know. Anyway, when I looked it up in the store, I couldn't find it. So I went ahead and picked it up. And because I couldn't find it, and I know that there are some serious Deadpool fans out there, I thought, oh, you know what? Two bucks. I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on it, even though it has some flaws. Somebody, you know, maybe had this mug once again and broke it or lost it. Or somebody took it because it was awesome and they want to replace it. You know, or somebody who's likes, likes a big old drink and, uh, <laughs> and, and Deadpool as a good gift. So let's take a peek at what I think I can sell this one for. And then this Deadpool goblet, I, I still can't find it. I did a lots of searching can't find it not one bit um if you are able to find it i just tell me send me a link let me know um here's a just a deadpool goblet that's at walmart for 25 dollars. i'm looking right here at the price down there um but then i did a search on ebay yeah there's a dead it's got the same like deadpool picture riding the unicorn and all that that's over 20 dollars. but since i can't find mine even with the damage I think I'm probably, I mean, I'm probably going to put $50 on it. Why not, right? I can't find another one, and if somebody wants it, I don't know. Unless I get some better information. For now, I'm going to probably put about $50 on it. The next item is another one that the checkout girl ended up saying, what, two nineteen? because it had two nineteen on it. No way, how about like $0.49? Cents? I was like, oh, okay. So it's a little Ganesh, 
it's just a little me metal figurine. They had at the thrift store, there were some other um, Hindu little statues and statuettes. Uh, but this was the only one that really kind of jumped out at me. So I did pick him up and I'm glad that she charged me 49 cents. Let's take a look at what I think I can get for this little, little cute Ganesh figurine. Then my little Ganesh is so cute. It's really minimal compared to a lot of these others that I see. So based on that, it's it's little tiny size and that it's so minimal and I couldn't find one just like it. I'm probably, look at that little black one though. Um, I'm probably, I don't know, I'm gonna probably put 30, 35 bucks on it just because I don't, I couldn't find one and I think it's really sweet and cute. Um, and somebody might, might really like the style of that one. Look, it looks like it's just glowing, doesn't it? Ah. Um, so yeah, I'm probably just gonna put 35 bucks on it and see see what happens. I can always drop the price, but if it sells really quick and I put a low price on it, I will be kicking myself. Here's another item that I got. It's a canoe, it looks like a birch bark canoe, plastic. And the reason I got it, again, $2.19, I'm, I think that's what she charged me, I don't know. I got it because it is a, you know, vintage toy, and I like selling vintage toys. Totsy. I don't, when I looked it up before, I don't think I saw that was the brand name on it. So we're going to look it up and see what I think I can sell this vintage canoe for. I love selling vintage stuff. Sometimes it's I have to watch it because I enjoy, like, picking up vintage toys and things, and then it turns out, like, oh, it really wasn't worth that much. But just so fun to find though, I think. Maybe that's, I just get excited about it. So I bought it. Here's the little canoe. I I saw one here, but it didn't, when you click on it, it doesn't open up to the right page. Um, and then there was one here that's being sold with the teepee. That being said, the price, this is sort of like now we figure out, <laughs> now is the time on sprockets when we figure out the price. I'm probably going to put $17 on it. Somebody might not want the TP. This one's got a little bit of wear and damage. I'm probably just going to put $17.99 on it because there isn't another one. That's it. So that's probably just what I'm going to gonna do is put that up for about $17.99 and see how it goes. The next item is a long burger basket, which again, they can be hit or miss, but I did look this one up before I left the store. So it's a little... Longa burger basket with a lid and it has, I believe it has the plastic liner in there. Yeah, it has the plastic liner in it. And as you guys know, probably, they are signed on the bottom. Looks like Marissa also signed it. That must have been hers. And I bought this for, again, it must have been on a two nineteen kick for $2.19. And once again, like Longa burger stuff can be hit or miss. So I definitely look it up before I check out. So let's take a peek at what I think I can get for this one. Here's my little long burger basket. Uh, I see, again, I do a Google search so I can kind of see what's all over the web. You know, this one looks a little bigger than mine, but here's one that's up for $50, $14.99. So again, just kind of depends on where you're looking. Uh, here's one on Etsy. Let's see what this one's up for. Oh, sorry, this one's sold out. Oh, good, we can use flipper tools. So let's do a search. On flipper tools. Flipper tools, Etsy. Oh no. Where was it? Here we go. I'm gonna sneeze. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, because this is sold, I'm gonna copy the URL at the top. I'm gonna come over to flipper tools and it'll tell me the Etsy sold price. I just enter the URL there, click OK. Boop. And this one sold for $30. So I mean I might put you know 30, 35 bucks on mine. These are ones that are on eBay. So there's, you know, that was an auction. So yeah, I mean, why not? I'll put 30 bucks on it and see what happens. The next item that I picked up is this beaded American flag purse. It's sort of a long crossbody style purse. It's got a zipper. Um, the brand is Amanda Smith. And the price on that was five dollars and 49 cents i don't feel like i paid that though i don't think i paid that much for this i really don't because i don't think i would have bought it for that price but anyway i'll have to look back on my receipt and see but i just thought it was really cute i when i looked it up in the store i couldn't quite find one like it i don't know if i just didn't do 
a good search, but let's take a peek at what I think I can get for this beaded American flag purse. Then the beaded uh, American flag bag. Here you see someone's got it up for 20 bucks on Etsy. I feel like I saw another one. I know I did. I know I did. Uh, oh, here on Poshmark, someone has it up for $14. So I'll probably put mine right around that, that same price point between maybe $17, $20. Then I got this wallet. It's a like a checkbook cover. It is Coach, I believe. Where did it go? I could have sworn. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, Coach. Just a little brown checkbook cover for Coach, from Coach, for Coach. And it was a buck forty nine. It's got, you know, some flaws on it. But I thought, you know, it's a nice little coach checkbook cover. So somebody might like that, might match their wallet or their purse. And let's look and see what I think I can get for this one. Then the, the, then the coach uh, checkbook cover. I found one right here on the gem app, but then I couldn't find it. But I did find a, or did I? No. I did find it somewhere. Here's one on Picklick, and it's, gosh, where'd it go? Oh, I see here that's up for $32. So mine's got a little wear. I'm gonna have to clean it up. There's like a little pen mark or pencil mark there. I'm gonna have to see if I can clean it up a little bit. But seeing I only, I only spent a buck fifty on it, so I might put, I don't know, $25 on it and see what happens. Again, can always lower the price, but if it sells really quick, I will be kicking myself. Then I've got this Vera Bradley clutch, also two bucks on that. It's got this little fold over, or what do you call that? Little lock on it. And it's got all these little compartments. It's got a zipper pouch, and it also has the notebook that goes in there, which I thought was really cute. Um, for me, like Vera Bradley is also another one that's hit or miss because it's just so saturated. But I know like green is a hot color. I think purple is another one that seems to do very well. And people have their, the pattern that they really like and they'll get all of the stuff in that particular pattern. Uh, but it was in really good shape. For two bucks, I thought, hey, why not? The strap looks pretty good. Yeah, so let's look and see what I can get for this one. Then this Vera Bradley uh, wristlet. Again, I couldn't find the same exact one. I did find the name of the pattern was Lucky You. <laughs> That's my... Um, okay, so Lucky You. And there are different ones that are similar, you know, same pattern and all that, but not my same wristlet at all. Um, this one's up for 35 bucks, And because I can't find mine, this is kind of like mine, but not exactly. Mine's more, has got a nicer, you know, like this, like so, little closure. And mine has a little notepad in it. So, hmm, I don't know. Oh, I was looking at, the, this is the site, the McGee Group, that you can go and find the, the pattern for what it's called. It really helps you if you're trying to list something that's Vera Bradley. <clears throat> So that being said, I'm probably gonna put about $35 on it. And then we've got another wallet. This is a quilted look Steve Madden wallet. Let's stick around there. It says $349. It's all peely though. And it's in, you know it's in really nice shape. A nice, you know, big Steve Madden wallet. And let's look and see what I can get for this one. My Steve Madden wallet, I couldn't find one exactly like it. This is just, a, again, a Google search to see what's just on all different platforms. Um, but I'm looking at around $35 to $40 for, for mine, especially since I can't find it. It makes me think like, ooh, well, somebody's going to really be looking for the wallet that they had, want to replace it. This is similar-ish, um, but mine doesn't have like the zipper. Like some of them are kind of like a clutch that I've seen, uh, but mine isn't that. It's not a clutch. It's just a really puffy, poofy wallet. Moving on to shoes. I don't normally sell shoes and clothes, but they had quite a few shoes that I picked up 
initially I had a lot more shoes in my basket, but I, I forced myself to sit and really look at them, look them over, look them up and figure out which ones I was going to keep and that I thought would sell for real, for real. Uh, so first up, Vans, which I am a lover. I love Vans. Uh, these are polka dot black and white Vans. Look at these, the soles. They look like they've never, ever been worn. There's a pair of Vans that I got at a different Goodwill. I, know, I wore them for a while and then I gave them to my sister. She gave them to her son. So yeah, Van lovers. So those are really, really nice clean ones. I got these for $9.49. Uh, and let's, uh, let's look at what I can get for those. And then the, my Vans, I couldn't find these same exact ones, but I found some that were really similar to these. Uh, oh, I had everything all lined up, but I think I adjusted my screen and so it, it like zapped them around. So these are old school. These are not the same. Mine are like, look, the bigger polka dots, the toes a little bit different. Uh, but those are, these are so nice though. Uh, those are up for $97.99. And again, oh, that's the same one. I, hmm, yeah, 64 on those again, but they're not the same exact ones that I've got. I couldn't find the same exact ones I've got. So I'm just going to have to maybe do a little more digging and see what I can find. But probably if I don't find them at all, I'm going to put a big, big giant price on them. Then I might need some help for my shoe people. These need a little bit of a cleanup. But when I looked these up, the purple Converse high tops, they seemed to sell pretty well. And there weren't a whole lot of them up there that I saw when I did my research in the store. I got these for $9.19. Saw that was, yeah. And... I mean, overall, they're in pretty good shape, other than needing a little bit of a cleanup. What do you guys like? Is it Magic Eraser? Is that what y'all use generally? I don't know. I don't do a whole lot of shoes, like I said. So I would love any input on getting these Converse in tip-top shape. The laces look pretty good, though. It shouldn't take too much to get them looking, looking purdy again. And then the purple high-top Converse, I found a few. Um, here's one that sold for 35 you know, here's one around, well, that's not the same thing, is it? I know I have another link up. Maybe, maybe I scrolled it or something where I had a couple more. So I'm probably, oh, here we go. Here's another pair. Those look like they're in a little bit rougher shape, though. So for 20, hmm, what are your thoughts? I know I had it. Sorry, I'm scrolling. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here's some different ones here. Um, 47, 50, 30. If I can get them cleaned up, I might put about 40 bucks on them. And then it was just like shoes for me almost. And I think they're actually my size. A lot of these, are they? Those? Yeah, they are my size. Both the Vans, the Converse. I believe these are also my size, which is dangerous because Vans, Converse, and Doc Martens are like my go-to shoes. So it's just like I hit the jackpot, but I, I want to sell them. So these are some Doc Canvas just floral canvas little boots, high tops. They are Doc Martens. And you can see there's the logo on the bottom there. They're in pretty good shape. I mean, they could use a little cleanup, but the canvas is clean. It looks like they've hardly been worn. Definitely not rough. And these, again, I got for $9. Oh, it's so bright, you can't see that. $9.49 or 19 cents. It's so tiny, I can't read it. <laughs> anyway, so let's take a look at what I think I can get for these beauties. And then here are these canvas Doc Martin high tops, which I just love. Uh, a pair is up on Poshmark for 50 bucks, eBay for 50 bucks. Uh, so they're not those. They are, let's see, I know I pulled them up again over here. Um, here's some smaller ones that sold for 40. That's a size five, mine are size seven, I think. The next thing I picked up is this Nordic Light Votive, and I'm actually kicking myself because I saw one. I think I showed it in my video that I put out yesterday. Uh, did I get it or not? I don't think I did. I think I thought I did because I got this, um, and it, it, it just didn't have the box, but it turns out it was like the same thing as this. This Nordic Light Votive. Ooh, bonk. And it looks like so. Isn't it pretty? But yeah, I saw one out of the box, but I didn't know. 
what it was. And does it have, let's see. This one has a little sticker on it there. Can you see? Auric, I can't read what that says. Orifos Sweden, so it's like this. Orifors Sweden, okay. And I guess that's the brand. I didn't look at the other one to see if it had that little sticker on it, but I'm gonna look for it from now on. I paid five, the oh, light is so bright you can't see. Five something for that, 519, ooh, it's heavy. 559, 559, random prices on this one. Let's take a look at what I think I can get it for it. Then we have the Nordic Light, which is this Orifors brand. And this is the, just the Google search that I like to do to see what's out there. There's one on Mercari for $38. These are some that are on, you know, oh, that's not the same thing. Uh, let's look at eBay. So there are different ones that have sold on eBay. Um, they don't all have the box. This one sold for 30. Again, this one sold for 22, 21. I mean, some of the prices are a little all over the place on some of them. So I'll probably, because I have the box and everything, probably going to list it for around $30. Then I picked up a puzzle. This is a Rudolph and the Red-Nosed Reindeer puzzle. It is still new and sealed. I paid $3.19 for it. I like selling puzzles and things like that, if I can get a good price. And if they're sealed, I, um, yeah, because then I don't have to mess with putting it together and figuring out if all the pieces are there. Then the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Puzzle. This is just a Google search. There's quite a few of them out there. Um, but when I look on eBay, I see these are all sold. Mine is still new. So some of these are, you know, pre-owned. So I'm looking right here. It says pre-owned when I'm checking that price. So brand new. This one sold for about 20 bucks. Uh, 10.49. Mm, I'm probably going to put mine up around around 20 bucks you know here's one 23.99 free shipping which I don't do uh, let's see how many are still up there for sale though there's 36 but again I'm going brand new so yeah looking at the brand new 25 on that 19 or about 20 bucks on that so yeah I'll probably I'll probably put mine around that 20 25 dollar mark just because and then I got some plush I like selling plush so this is one, and this is, I'm going to butcher the name, Rilla, hang on, Rilla Kuma, and this is, does it say San X Company? Oh, I can't read it, it's so tiny, you guys. San X Co., and th there's different characters, or different little, I don't know this show, or whatever this is from, but there are different ones, and, uh, it kind of looks like the Aquanauts, but it's not. Uh, so let's take a look at who this is and what I can get for her. So next up is our, I don't know how to say this, Rill, Rillacuma. And so I did the Rillacuma plush cream pink space to see, and I did find what I was looking for. I think my plushie originally was supposed to have a helmet, but that's okay. I'm still going to sell it. So here is a white one, like my pink one, that somebody has up for 20, basically 24 bucks. And then I found out that this one's name is this, Cori Lacuma. Uh, yeah, so whatever this is from, this is the, the character's name. So it's going to be important for me to get that in my title. I can't say it. But that doesn't matter. I just need it in my title because this is the little character, and as you can see, some of them are selling for really good money. Eighty-eight bucks there, thirty-five bucks, fifty-three, sixty-one. Some really nice numbers that I like to see. And these are just some of the other characters that are out there. And see, I think originally, see, mine doesn't have this, so the outfit's a little bit different than mine. But I think it was supposed to have a helmet at one point. I almost left this one behind so this really colorful dragon that has the flip tummy that does blue and silver and it's just covered in stars and like sparkle blue everything um oh you can mold the ears cute you can move the ears around um i got this one for oh it's on the wing here we go bring bring it around 529 
and the brand on that, let's see if we can see it, is, I can't read it backwards, and it's too tiny, so we're, I, I'm going to look it up, and I'll tell you when I pull it up on the next screen. All right, now for our Caravan Dragon. I couldn't find my same exact one. Found some really similar ones. I feel like this one's smaller than what I've got. I couldn't find any of this one that had the, the flip tummy. Um, so, you know, I'm seeing, I think mine's bigger than 16 inches for sure. I'm not so good with measurements. It's quite large though. Well, maybe it's 16, maybe it's maybe it's 20. It's pretty, pretty big. Um, so I'm probably gonna list it for around $35, $40. There's one that's sold that's a green one for 30 bucks. Is that sold? Maybe that's not sold. And last but not least, I got this giant elephant. It's a laying flat, so it can be kind of like a pillow or a pillow pet kind of deal. It's not a pillow pet, but the elephant, where's the sticker on there? I got for, it says $5.29 on the elephant's little foot. And I, when I was in the store, I didn't see any like this that had that, what do you call that? Where it's like a different color underneath and then it's like tipped with gray, really super fuzzy and soft. I, I didn't see another one that was like that. Oh, there's a different price on that. Yeah, $5.49. Okay. I didn't see one when I was looking it up in the store and because it was just so unique and cool and cozy, this thing's got tags all over it. Um, I just decided to go with it. I went with it. So let's think, see, let's see what I think I can get. So my elephant is the brand Fiesta. And I did find one Fiesta elephant, and I'll show that to you in just a second. But I wanted to give you an idea of some of the different elephants. I just did elephant stuffed animal large. And, you know, the, again, the prices, depending on the, the brand and the age and things like that, there are prices kind of all over the place. I only found one that was just like mine. It is not sold. Uh, so here's one that's at Walmart, not exactly like mine, but this one is up for $60. I mean, mine is quite large. It's, you know, at least 24 inches. I haven't measured it, if not more. Here's one that, that's just like mine. Uh, the pictures are, okay. Um, and they have it priced right around $50, which is probably what I'm gonna do too. Here's an Aurora one that is, up for $64.99 and this is a um, different brand again about 60 bucks so I might take some good pictures and then list it for around $60 because it's quite large it's in great shape it's real fuzzy there's only one other one out there that I can see and I think if I take some really good pictures of it and I think I can get that I hope you enjoyed this video. These are all the different things that I picked up from Goodwill and I'm gonna flip them. So I spent about $100. I think I should be able to make, oh, I don't even know, I have to look it up again. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna make a good bit of profit on all of these things if I get the price that I'm hoping to get on them. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Go down there, leave me a comment, let me know you are here. And if you haven't already, uh, subscribe, do all those nice things, share my video, follow me on Instagram, and. Facebook and all the nice places that we follow people on. And I will talk to you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Bye.